I'm cutting her close. Check out these dark clouds moving in. Oof. I don't know about these. <laughs> Is there a dog sitting on a log, singing to a frog that's crazy?
What is this? Here we are. What is this? It's a padish. So I got it into my head that I wanted meatloaf for dinner. Mm. But it needed to be stuffed with something. And I thought, why not sweet potato mash, mashed potatoes. And as you know, if ever you have a packet of something from a box of something, you might as well <laughs> use it if you don't like it. I mean, you know, if someone else doesn't like it. So that little packet that you saw was garlic parmesan sauce from a, a hot buffalo chicken wing sauce that one of our sons doesn't like. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Always keep those. <laughs> yeah, because you never know. So This is really good. It's mm. a finish. Ground turkey, right? I think I said that. Ground turkey. Mm -hmm. It's almost like kind of a some sort of shepherd's pie, but like a reverse... Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, you can make mashed potatoes and meatloaf separately, but I thought just have some extra sauce. Cook it in one pan. Oh, yeah, and the sauce, really, it's just like uh, barbecue sauce and honey mustard. Mmm. Yeah. And, uh. Mmm. That's, that's it. That's good. All mm. right, we're going to go eat? Mm hmm. Sitting down, because mm -hmm. we hear that's what all the celebrities are doing these days. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sitting while eating, it's it's new. You should try it. City girls leaving again. Boo. When are you coming back? Oh, a uh, couple weeks. Couple weeks. That's not so bad. Get off my lens, you don't fly. Fish.
I'm back at Dan's place. Um, not quite ready to do a solar power system. I need one more component. It's like being shipped from China, I think. Um, but I need my trailer. Uh, you'll see why. So I'm gonna take all these panels off and stack them up here and hit the road again. So next I gotta go over and see the wizard. There's something over there for me. I gotta find out what it is. So Dan and Glenn have a beautiful location here, but I'm not sure that he wants me filming his cabin. So we'll have to sweet talk him and see if we can film it one of these days because it's actually quite nice and they've just made uh, renovations on it. But it's pretty nice here, pretty nice. It's not Raspberry Rock, but it's pretty nice. But we'll talk, we'll talk to Dan. So I was contacted by one of my subscribers yesterday, Don and Susan Scoville. I guess that would be two of my subscribers. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that would be two. Um, yeah. So they dropped something off at the Wizards for me. And I need either my trailer behind my car or my ATV to pick it up. So it's, it's a bit of a journey uh, east of here to uh, the Wizards. Um, but you know what? We're gonna take the ATV. I don't like putting the trailer on the car, it's just hand the ass where I can just drive the ATV over there. I can almost go as fast as the car. But I'm really anxious to see what it is, what they left for me. So here we go. Oh Dan's trail is so much nicer than mine. Oh boy. I'll tell you what. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that beautiful trail. I fly down this trail when I'm heading to Dan's place. <laughs> Just, uh, I'm airborne in some parts because it's so nice. <laughs> and as she said at one point, this trail was as bad as mine. He just kept fixing it up. Unfortunately, this is all his property, so it's not a big deal. I, my trail is mostly somebody else's property, and I can't, can't do that. Hey, little fella. Don't hide, no, don't hide. It's okay. How you doing? How you doing, little guy? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Nice little turtle. Nice little guy. you. I'm good. Are you raising a racket or is that a fence? Uh, that is a staircase right there. Uh, I thought you're maybe you're raising a racket. How well, are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. You got a present today. Well, yesterday. Yeah, so I hear. No, you want to see that? Over here? Okay, yeah. Oh my god. You got to be kidding me. Yeah, he made sure it had a pintle hook. Because so he made I said made sure it has one. So you said make sure it has one. Well, yeah, because you, months you, ago he... You're conspiring. Yeah, yeah, you kept that a secret. Because I was asked to keep that a secret, right? Oh, look at that. So he made he this was, himself, did he? Yeah, he did. He, uh, when I talked to him, he hadn't made it yet. He was thinking of it. 
Wow. And he was wondering if he could bring that here and then... So, like, apparently, and I, I have trouble hauling logs or something like yeah, that. Yeah, well, he watched your <laughs> videos. He, he had watched your videos and he felt you, you would like something like that. And he wanted to make you something. So. Okay, you wrap this around... No, how does that work? Well, this lifts the log around. So, first what you do is this goes loose, right? Okay, so, oh, I see. So, you pull the log up with this. Yeah. And then you wrap this, the chain around. Yeah. Let me see. It's oh. So nice. But you know, he went, he really went out of his way. Like, and he, he, he gave it some good thought because don't forget, he gave it some really good thought. He used big diameter tires. Yeah. And then he had these bars in front of the tire so that if you come to rocks or other debris in front of the tire, it would skid away from, away from the tire. So you don't get... Oh, that's smart. So you don't get um, caught up on that. Don and Susan, you're beautiful people. I, I can't imagine all the work you've put into this. But thank you so much. Now I have to leave it here. I know. I know. Oh, well, you got your full, you got your ATV here, but you... I did, yeah, but here's the thing. Oh, I didn't know I'd be, I, I didn't know this was... So I have to take my water tote in today. Yes. I've already taken the trailer over to put the water, tote water in. stuff in. And you can't put the water tote on this and then pull it in? I don't know how big your water tote is. Well, it's like this big. You know. Okay. Okay, one more thing before I go. Yeah. Um, Mr. Wizard is building all these signs for the area. Explore our backyard tweed. Yeah. And other signs. Yeah, I got about 16 signs to build. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Mr. Wizard's work is going to be all over. Uh, it's all, probably all, all, all the hamlets in the municipality of Tweed. Very nice. And I got to install them. See, these are the poles for it. So. so, this trip in is all about this tote. So, I couldn't bring the, uh, I don't know, the log hauler? I couldn't bring it. I could have left it here, but I didn't want to leave it here if I'm not coming out again for a week. And I, just, I really only come out once a week. So Mr. Mr. Wizard was kind enough to allow me to leave it there for now. Um, I'm gonna get this thing loaded up and then I'm gonna head to town. Just get some groceries and stuff. And I want this to be all ready for when I get back. I can just kind of get on the ATV and go. But uh, let's see how we load this thing now. One strap. Are you feeling lucky, Russell? One strap? I have more straps. I can put one on any time. Let's just go with one. It's, it's like locked on there. It's not going to move. Sometimes we get like strap fixation. Strap. I'm fixated on straps. Got to have more straps. Ratchet straps. Ratchet strap fixation. You know, I can't, I can't imagine how much time and effort and money went into building that log hauler. Don and Susan Scoville, this is gonna be your episode. <laughs> the Don and Susan Scoville episode. In fact, Mr. Wizard said he took some video of when you guys were here. So I'm gonna play that at the end of this video. So stick around for that, cause uh, that should be interesting. <laughs> The Dawn and Susan Scoville episode. Dawn and Susan. I swear I'm gonna put this place on the map. Watch. I'm gonna go in and ask for my usual. Let's see how that goes. I'll have the Raspberry Rock special, please. She has no idea what this is. <laughs> I am the king of awkward moments. I did talk to Tracy though. She came out. I said we have to create a Raspberry Rock special. So if you're in Tweed and you go to the subway, ask for the Raspberry Rock special. But only if Tracy's there. If she's not there, then uh, you'll get awkward looks like that one I just got. <laughs> so I'm back from town. It's really a hot and muggy day and now the sun's starting to come out. Anyway, I got some PVC to put on the, there somehow. 
bunch of groceries. Yeah. It's already almost four o'clock too. I've got everything except one can of beer, but you know what? It's coming in one way or another. Whew. It's definitely coming in. I think I'm ready. What do you? What do you think? To be careful of the load. The loads that are tall, even though it's not that heavy, uh, raises the center of balance on the load. So it's a lot more tippy, going around corners and stuff, or over uneven, you know. So I have to be a little careful. I like it colder than that. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, they all came off somehow. I don't know if we hit a tree or they just flew off. Damn it. I'm not going to film putting back on. You've seen the drill. Man, I am hot and sweaty. All right, take a look at what I've done here. <sighs> this fucking thing. Oh, I see a mistake I made over there. Anyway, I came up through here as opposed to over, except over there, around this bar, and then around each one, and then around this bar, and then through here down. That way, they shouldn't slide very far this way or this way because they're held in between here and the strap shouldn't just slide forward and off like it did last time same there i missed over there but i want to take that chance it took forever to do this i swear it took 20 minutes to do all these round and round and round and meanwhile the the pvc is going back and forth my biggest dread, though, is somebody's going to look at this PVC and say, you got the wrong stuff, Russell. You can't use that for downspouts. And it could be. I mean, it says sewer drain on it. Did I get the wrong stuff? I don't like the idea that it says sewer drain on it. It's for my water. Oh, I can barely see because sweat's going in my eyes. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know what time it is. It's too late a fucking o'clock is what it is. Yeah. <sighs>
I'm cutting her close. Check out these dark clouds moving in. Oof. And thunder, baby. Did you miss me or some shit? Look at you. Look at those chins. Oh, you got more chins than Chinatown. Yeah. So I've actually been having a problem with the pintle hitch uh, lately. It's just been popping open for no reason at all. When I was taking the trailer out, when it was empty, it popped open like 10 times until I finally tied it on and said, screw that. Um, it popped open <coughs> once on this trip as I was coming in. <laughs> Funny thing is, I, I glanced back and I see this big white thing way back down the trailer and I went, ah, what is that? <laughs> oh, it's my trailer way back there. Okay. And then one right there, right there. That's a good spot to pee. Okay, go, Junebug. Yeah, <laughs> pee in the exact same spot. Uh, yeah. So the only one strap came off, and guess which one it was? This one, where I went over instead of through. Yeah. Anyway, I got some groceries to get inside. I'm not taking the tote off tonight. Uh, I don't have another problem. I've got I want to paint it. And you can, I thought you couldn't get out of this cage at first, but these two bars on the top, looks like you can just unscrew them and take them out, which means I could flip it upside down and take the whole plastic out and then paint it. But I really want to get the it in, the tote in place. Hear that thunder? I want to get it in place in front of the cabin, so can I, I can't really spray paint it in the cage though can I anyway I gotta get the groceries inside. It's been way too long. Who's excited? Who's excited to see me? so incredibly moist. I know what you're thinking. Russell, why oh why did you buy grocery store sushi? That is 50% off because you got to eat it within the next 10 minutes. <laughs> well, it's about an hour's drive to the nearest restaurant, sushi restaurant. I mean, plus the 30 minute ATV ride. Um, if you're craving your, you know, your sushi fix, this will do, you know, in a pinch. Slash some soy sauce on there and there should be wasabi in there. Please tell me there's wasabi in there. Oh, I could make some, actually. We've got it here. But uh, it'll do in a pinch. It'll kind of uh, work that craving. What's the word I'm looking for? Curb that craving? So, that'll do. We'll see. The girl at the grocery store said it was pretty good. And then I asked her if she ate sushi. And she said, not really. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And then, there's two kinds of people in the world. People who like butter tarts with raisins and people that don't know what they're missing. Mmm. There's actually six in there. I'm not gonna eat them all at once. You do it, you put it in a microwave from 10 to 20 seconds. Mwah. Mwah. And I gotta put all this crap away. It is quarter after six. That's it, that's it for me this evening. <laughs> no more filming. Cut to tomorrow. Here we go, cutting to tomorrow. Zip. It didn't work. Oh, crap. Let's try again. Zip. That was the worst sushi I've ever had. Bleh. This gives me an idea. Oh yeah. This gives me an idea. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. 
there. Wow. Hmm. Sorry, Willow. I gotta move these barrels, um, which means I gotta empty one, and uh, like all three of them gotta move. But I don't want to waste the water that's in them, so I think actually that's not bad. <laughs> I was thinking this was gonna be the worst one, but it's I can see the bottom and everything. Uh, <laughs> that probably sounds really bad, doesn't it? Jeez, Russell, you can see the bottom. Yay! <laughs> uh, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll still use this one. I'll empty this one completely, and then I gotta clean it out, and then I'll empty this one into this one. Also, oh, clean it out, move it out of the way here somewhere, in another spot, and then empty this one into that one, and then I can move this one, and then empty this one into this one, wherever I put this one. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a bit while I do this, because it's just stupid. Thankfully, there's no normal bugs out right now. There's no deer flies and there's no mosquitoes, but what there is a lot of is moths. Apparently, gypsy caterpillars turn into gypsy moths and they're freaking everywhere and they're stupid. They'll just like fly right into your face and go, oh, and then fly away. Like, <sighs> So who knew, right? Gypsy moths turn into gypsy caterpillars. And the, uh, anyway, doggy tried to get my attention. Oh, you thought I was petting you. Aww. Sorry, Junebug. I should, can I do something with this water? Can I take a shower? Do you want a bath? Do you want a bath? Do you want a bath? Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> I was kidding. I was kidding. Come here, Junebug. Come here, little girl. I was kidding. I was kidding. You making the face? You making the face? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you turn the camera off for me? Can you can you go over there again? Can one of you hit the buttons? Can one of you hit the button? Yeah, I knew it. Alright, I'll do it. I'll hit the button. Why didn't I put it closer? <laughs> oh shit, I just realized I gotta drive my ATV over here somewhere. Somehow. Uh, 
I figured it. I'll go over. I'll put a jump. Beep. No, no. Parking brake on. Last thing I need is this thing rolling down the hill and into the pond. Maybe I'll block the wheels just in case. Uh, don't anybody tell City Girl I drove right through the blueberry patch. This is this is my shower platform way way back in the first summer that I was here I was looking for a good spot to shower and I there's no good spot to stand on the ground so I made this platform and I showered on it ah oh, still kicking Should I put the barrels further away? Why are you thinking, Russell? I spent about the last half hour getting it level, which is a real pain in the ass. I'm not doing any permanent solution because just in case I want to move this in the future, I don't want to like make a beautiful platform, you know, spend a day doing that. Just, just like it is for now. And it was hard as hell because <laughs> it was on a bad slant, right? Before I started this. And every time I tried to shift it, the whole thing would slide down the hill like a couple of inches. So I have to wrestle it back and get the wood back in place. So it's temporary. I could even attach it to the deck here. I'm right up against it, which is nice. Um, will it support 
let's see, it's eight pounds per gallon, so 275 gallons. Carry the one. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good enough for Russell. And it's good enough for you. I don't even know how this works. Does that come on? Too late now, I should have done a semicircle there to fit the pipe. Ah, crap. It needs to be like right there. That has to be right there. Whatever, Russell. Blind? Is there a measuring tape here somewhere that I can't see? Okay. I'm trying to work my way backwards now instead of kind of in the middle. Should be tilted a bit, right? Should be a little, a little bit. Oops, too far. No! Come on. Beauty.
that look right? Out there? Does that look think they're good all lined up? No, my measuring tape! Six. Say it with confidence. Measure twice and say it with confidence. Six. Six. It's a good thing I know how to make nice straight cuts. <laughs> All right. Why is there two different colors? <laughs> Why is there a, a white and a not sight not quite so white? <laughs> oh god. Uh, just tell me I did this right. I see, okay. Well, that'll do. Hey, that's a professional looking job right there. I shouldn't, uh... Alright, straight talk. Um, I do have, uh... In this part transportation box, I do have some PVC cement. Yeah, PVC cement. So I should be doing that before I actually secure it like this, right? Because now I can't get in there, but... I, don't, I have nothing up to the butt. I should have done that. But I'm a little worried. You know what? I, you know what my worry is. Like, 30 people are gonna watch this video and go, "Oh, Russell, you're doing it all wrong. Here's what you should have done." So I'm gonna have to take it all apart again, anyway. Uh, that's no fun. So I'm not actually. I'm not gonna go too much further with this. I'm gonna connect it up with the the downspout, and I think that's it for now. On the bottom, I have a thingy. Cap, screw and cap. So here, I'll bring you down here. Come, come. So the idea here is, when it first rains, all the stuff that's uh, all the crap that's on the roof is going to come down first, and it's going to fill up this section after I put the cap on the bottom. And then once it fills up to here, can we see here where my hand is? Then the water's going to come this way and into the tote, and that'll be clear cleaner water than what's down here and then after it rains you know I'll just come out here and I'll uh, unscrew the bottom am I going the right way yeah I'll unscrew the bottom <laughs> let the water out of here and then put the cap back on for the next time it rains there are fancier methods of doing this skip I know you're gonna say you've got a filter in your uh, thing so the water just runs out but uh, I'm not doing that for now for reasons I don't want to get into uh, but that's the idea. I went to grab another piece of PVC and this happened. What are you doing here, fella? You're not in the right place. So for now, I've just stuck another piece of PVC in here just to catch the water. It's nothing fancy up here. Uh, and that's going to be it. I think the one thing I will do is I'll put the base on that pipe down there. I'll actually use PVC cement and put that on 
because uh, I'm like, right now, well, I haven't done this part yet. I haven't opened it to the toad. I'll do that. But I'm thinking for right now, if it rains, I'm going to catch all that water. But if I get water in that thing, it'll probably just knock the thing out. It's just in there by friction. So I'll do that. get that. So last week I showed my new tote for the first time, my water tote, and then I saw in Sean James' video he showed his for the first time. I think it was his first time. So if this week, if he's working on his water tote, it's gonna get weird, man. Really weird. How do I open this thing? <laughs> oh, geez, I don't want to wreck it, but I'm wrecking it. Ah. Brand new, do you want to see? Cool, huh? So I decided to go with garden cloth. The other option, I think would, I would have lost a lot of water because we're just kind of sitting kind of around the cat. Whatever I end up doing here, I'm not going to like cement that turn. I want to be able to turn this. There we go. Done. Other than a shitload of cleanup. There's one more thing I want to do before the end of this video. I want to go bucket, bucket hunting. <laughs> Let's do it. <sighs> Alright, so I'm forcing this. I, uh, I'm looking... I want to... Careful of the camera. I want to find that bucket that went to the bottom of the pond. So I took some cling wrap and put it over the end here with elastic band. And I want to attach a flashlight here because I'm not going to be able to see anything. And my GoPro somehow. But I'm forcing this. I don't want to. I don't want to rush this. If I lose that flashlight or the GoPro at the bottom of the pond, I'm going to be really upset. The idea being that if you push this into the water, as long as the water doesn't come up past your cling wrap. You can look down there and see stuff. If there's a flashlight down there, this pipe might be too long. I don't know. There's a lot of trial and error in this project, and I don't think this cling wrap is going to be strong enough to, to withstand the pressures of water, which means I've got to find vapor barrier, and I still haven't figured out how to mount the GoPro. Anyway, I'm just I'm pushing it, and it's late Thursday afternoon. I still I haven't even started editing this video. So look for this next week. I definitely want to try this. Look for this next week, this little stupid project I'm doing. Ugh. I got a lot to clean up here. I hate this part of the project. You know when you're getting near the end of the project, you think, oh, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. And then there's like half an hour of cleanup, and you're like, oh, where did that come from? Who did that? <laughs> Who did that when I wasn't looking? Who made that big mess? I don't want to do this part. Anyway, I got I to gotta do it, and then I got to get to work on this video. And I'll probably do another sign-off at the end of this. Yeah, let's do it that way. Let's let's get on it. So this has turned out to be an incredibly long video, <laughs> a little out of the normal. 
I'm not sure if you guys like that or not. You can let me know in the comments, because you got a comment, right? Let me know in the comments if you like really long videos. Let me know in the comments if you like projects like that water tote project. Um, or not, me fuddling through that crap. Um, yeah, and thanks again to Dawn and Susan. This is the Dawn and Susan episode. And you know what, I could I could do um, lots of other episodes. We got, we've received some really nice gifts from people. Um, <clears throat> like uh, the quilt from David and Pam Evans. Like uh, all the articles, the, the hand-knitted articles we've received from Jillian. I mean, we could clothe a small army and she's what now, like 130 years old? Like, uh, plus all the, the wonderful donations we get on live streams. Um, you know, Al, Man on the Street, and Jay, Netman, and Laura Kimberly, and uh, I've gotten myself into trouble now because we've literally uh, received hundreds of donations. And if I start naming names, which I just did, <laughs> I'm not going to remember everybody, and somebody's going to come along and say, well, I donated. I'm sorry. I'm, but we really appreciate it. So we could have, like, lots of episodes and name people, but we probably won't get into that. <laughs> Anyway, thanks again, Don and Susan, and everybody else. We really appreciate it. Um, there will be a live stream uh, this Friday. I guess it's tonight if you're watching this on a Friday. It's tonight. I still haven't decided if I'm doing it on the Books Fest channel or the main channel. Um, but it will just be me. Uh, City Girl's not coming this weekend. but She'll be here the next weekend, but she's not coming this weekend. Um, yeah, so... As promised, we're ending this with video of Dawn and Susan dr uh, at the Wizards. So check that out and that'll be the end of the video. Thanks everyone for coming out and watching and we'll see you at the live stream. And don't forget to... Peace! I don't know why I did it like that. <laughs> okay, good morning everyone. We're here and we have Susan and Dawn Schofield here who's got a treat for us. Raspberry Rock. <laughs> John has built this and wanted to drop it off, but I'll let him talk more about it. What is this, Don? What this is for hauling logs out of the woods with his four-wheeler. I started building it before I realized he's not doing that anymore, but I'm sure he'll have a use for it. <laughs> he'll so, find some use. Oh yeah, I'm sure he'll use sure. it. So. It's amazing that you uh, that you just, you know, you set out to build that and wanted to deliver it here. and. He's going to get to see this as a surprise. Yeah. Kind so, of a late birthday present. Yeah. <laughs> so this is just amazing. It's so kind of you. Yeah. Well, we travel through here all the time. so. Yeah. We're super fans. Yeah. We're Hi, super Russell. Fans. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>